Hello friends, in this uh, video I'm going to talk briefly about what is Cucumber, how you would be able to confer, uh, transform your existing testing framework into uh, Cucumber framework. Uh, first of all, Cucumber is one of the um, most popular BDD framework. BDD stands for Behavior Driven Development uh, Framework. Uh, BDD uh, framework is most popular also because uh, that it supports a gherkin gherkin scripting where you would write given when and then format of uh, steps uh, these steps are basically uh, any user can read them uh, they are they are easy to read and understand and also anybody would write you would not need to know uh, or you would not need to have more coding uh, coding knowledge uh, in order to write the bdd scripts they are just gherkin format gherkin formats are our simple uh, english language um and next thing is this uh, when you write the test inside the uh, in the gherkin format into uh, cucumber um, these are just mapped into the uh, some selenium codes uh, that's where it will invoke the test uh, to trigger so it does not matter what you write but they are case sensitive as well as they are um, they are uh, uh, space or anything any single space could make thing different so uh, these steps that are written to the cucumber are basically uh, need to be exact in order to define them so um, um, when I see here, if you see here this test, uh, this is just a binormal test that has all, uh, all it does is it goes through the register and it will uh, fill in the form. If I run this, I would just run this as a JUnit test. Uh, and you probably see my other videos where I run, so I don't want to run this test again. It's the same thing that you would run as a JUnit test. It will launch the browser and it will fill in the form basically. I want to uh, go into my agenda for today. So in order to transform your project into Cucumber, first of all, you'll have to install your uh, Cucumber uh, Cucumber uh, tool inside the Eclipse. To do that, you'll have to uh, go into help under the Eclipse, install new software, add this URL, and it will show you. I have other video that will show you how you can install the Eclipse um, Cucumber tool inside the Eclipse. Step two, go to Maven. Uh, if you have a Maven project, and I prefer you go into Maven project, uh, create the Maven project. It's very simple and easy. I have other videos that uh, shows you how you can uh, set up your Maven project. Um, so once you have a Maven project set up, go into the palm.xml. If you go into this, uh, this is called palm.xml. And when you go there, there's a palm. You to open this as an overview first, you just go into palm.xml on the right foremost tab. And you can add the dependencies like this here. Okay, I have four dependencies that I added for Cucumber. Um, so those you want to add, okay, in order to have a Cucumber. So Cucumber Java, Cucumber Core, Cucumber JUnit, Cucumber Test and Z. In order to get this, you can get this uh, copied from um maven uh, site you can just uh, look for cucumber uh, maven dependencies um next thing is you create a runner class this is what we're going to go next i already have a one and two set up um in my previous videos too and uh, so i'm not doing that now i will continue to step three where i would create a runner class <coughs> and then we'll go further from there Runner class is basically you would define how you want to run your test. We want to run with the cucumber, and we would need to pass some cucumber options. Those are the params that you want to pass in order to run the test. You want to give some uh, user specified, uh, user given parameters. Um, it also has a glue. Glue means uh, glue is nothing but that. Uh, uh, where you would define where your step definitions would be. Step definitions are the definitions, those are considered to be selenium codes that are mapped to the uh, cucumber steps. Uh, final one is uh, you also need to define where the locations of your feature files at uh, inside the cucumber options. 
So after these all things, you should be all set with uh, step three. Step four, create a feature file. So once you define this feature file, go inside the exact location and create a feature file. Uh, it's preferable uh, rather than just one feature file, create a folder called features and then create multiple feature file as needed. Okay, those are just a, just like a text file, but those would have a dot feature extension. So that's how the Cucumber will identify those as a feature file. Um, next thing is uh, each step inside the Cucumber needs to be defined inside the definitions. Okay, we'll do that and then run config and then run the test. In order to run the test, you have to go to the run config and set up some configurations. We'll show you that. Okay, um, let's go to step three. So to do that, I have uh, I have to define some setup. I'm going to put all of the setup stuff here. So I'll just create a new uh, new package here inside the main. New package. I'm going to name that as. Uh, I'm going to name that as com dot my dot. Cucumber config. Okay. So if you see Cucumber config is here, let me create one class inside this. So that class I'm going to write uh, run my run my cucumber test. You can write any name here, okay? That name doesn't matter. So that is just the any single class, just write like a Java class, nothing different yet. Uh, we're going to write that further now. So this is going to contain the empty body. So you don't really need to write anything. In fact, you don't write anything here. So empty, it is just empty here. So here, what you need to do is couple things you need to do. First thing is run with. So that's one thing you need to write. Run with cucumber.class. Let's import this. Okay, that is there. So next thing, let's import uh, do at red cucumber. Okay, cucumber options. Let's import this also. Okay, let's do this here. This is going to be fun. So after you have a cucumber options, keep some space here. So So first thing of all, you need to put in plugin equals pretty, okay? So progeny equals pretty, and then I want to define where my reports is going to be. So I'm going to say my HTML report, please put it inside the target folder. So I'll say HTML. Cucumber report and then so that's one I want so here if you see what it's going to do is here's a target folder inside the target it's going to create another folder where I'll have the all the cucumber report stuff okay so that's all it will, it will do for now right now I don't have anything because I did not run anything so that's one thing. Other thing I want to put that as uh, <coughs> monochrome. So this monochrome is going to just uh, show some, you know, readable format into the console output. Uh, so next thing is a feature. You need to define where your features are going to be. So I'm going to write. resources source test resources I want to create uh, these features inside this resources so I'll just write cucumber features so this this name also can be anything it has nothing to do with anything okay that's also 
uh, what I want to do I want to define that where the features are going to be uh, next thing is let's say what I want I need to also define where my glue is going to be glue is basically step definitions okay glue equals so there are a couple things you want to define inside the glue so if you define like this as a blank it is going to look throughout the project anywhere you can define um, inside the test and then if you define anywhere exact location then it will look for those projects for example if I need to uh, define the glue inside uh, the inside this package for example uh, com dot if I do like this then every definitions of that cucumber steps should be written inside this package otherwise it will not even look so I don't want to limit that I may have multiple packages where I want to write so I'm just going to remove this as a blank um, so then um, now I'm not entitled to write any specific package I can write that anywhere um, next thing is I want to do finally as a tags because this cucumber runs in the tags so based on whatever tag you give that's what it will trigger your test so tags equals what you do here in the tags is these are basically the variables and you put like this at let's say my test my test okay so that is my test and then what you do after that my test it is basically done right so here if you see again so plugin is a pretty um, this is going to just trigger that HTML report there monochrome is true basically that's just the console output it gives you better view uh, then I have features locations where I will have a features and then next thing I will have is a tags where I have a tags also also I have a glue where I did not define anything at all okay so that's one part let's get this format Okay, so this is a cucumber options we have this these are the things four things you need to set up really well so now what we want to do is we want to define this thing here okay cucumber feature is the place where we want to keep every feature file so this is case sensitive so I need to create that folder here so inside the resources here I need to create a folder called let me make this capital uh, so cucumber features I'm going to create a new folder here that is going to be folder not the package so that is here that's all I want to create okay inside this feature I need to create the feature files okay so here if I go new file when I create a feature file I need to create a new feature file called uh, I will say this is uh, my register register new application dot feature okay um, so so when you create a new feature file that's how it is going to be basically it is showing you how you can do this I'm just going to remove the whole thing and then I'm going to write my thing okay so first of all you need to write this feature Okay, uh, so feature can be purpose what you want to do. So test uh, register Okay, um, next thing is what you want to do is scenario Okay, scenario is This can be anything you just define what you what the scenario is going to be basically this has nothing to do with your course so this can be anything there's nothing uh, entitled to this so next thing is you want to do is given I I launched the application okay what do you want to do here if you come here just think that we want to do the same test inside the cucumber that's what we want to transform right that's the main purpose of this 
so if you come here this step does that launching the applications correct so then what it does is after it launches it goes to uh, home page and then it navigates to the uh, register so let's say I don't want to do the launch I would say I uh, open and to let's say I do that so this is the step I need to define uh, next thing is what is this so that step is already done there and next thing is I want to do this and I want to fill in the registration okay so filling registration now what I do and I fill in and let's say launch I and registration form okay so let's just write this same test into these two steps so if I do this what happens is if you come here navigate to register it's going to basically trigger the same thing so it will do the all things so writing method that nothing has changed cucumber is just pulling the same thing so don't get confused you would be writing the same thing so there's nothing different so you are just uh, pointing to this step so let's write that steps here so let me go ahead and create one uh, uh, step definitions I need to create a package so com dot my dot okay so I'm going to write that new class Um, that's uh, okay. Restart test steps. So here I'm going to write that steps. So it does not really matter. It is going to look for those tags throughout the project. So first of all, if you see yellow, yellow means these are not defined. I need to define this both of these things. Okay. Let me copy that so that I can write those here so here given does not need to be given there it can be anything you can given is the first start and then given when and then anything can be fine so when you define these steps what you do is you copy the whole thing <coughs> given okay then give some regex here so and copy the whole thing with the dollar sign okay so that's what you do there and then you do just like any your method would do so public void uh, navigate and here what I would do is I'll just copy whatever this guy does here okay uh, so this is going to do So what I do here is let me import that and <coughs> so what I do here is I'm just going to put these things here and this given is going to get imported that's we'll do that later so here in this is this step all I need to do is register navigate to the register launch my application and it will navigate that okay that's first step I will do and I have another step that I need to define that is basically the registration form to fill up so I'm going to put that inside the another class okay I can do that here also so also it is going to throw exception so nothing different as you would define the same class here okay everything is same so nothing is different so next thing is you have another step where you would write let's let me write that another one which is going to be that's a registered test uh, let's say fill up form let me write that another class it could be all I want to show is like it can be written in any form of any different class uh, the the project uh, it will look for those steps at the project level so it doesn't matter where you put it in 
So another one is uh, feeling Let me just write feeling registers in steps. Um, so here I'm going to write So that's uh, my step. Uh, let me write that couple regex in this okay uh, public void uh, feeling form okay and let me copy that whole thing again from this this piece I need the driver and I'll just put that here I don't need this anymore so here I need to import the when when is coming from cucumber API and also it will need the exception okay this is the same form of test that I did uh, in this test this is the JUnit test now I am basically breaking this part into two different sets I could simply call this one method and make this as a cucumber steps I just wanted to show you how you'll be able to elaborate this same test inside everywhere okay now this is almost ready now we need to uh, see one more time close this again and open this up so these yellow pieces are gone that means this definitions is been there so if I right click here find a step it will take me where that is okay same thing to the other one uh, if I go here uh, another step right click find a step it will take me there um, so that's one thing you need to know now if I want to run this test I need to do one configuration so I need to do right click run as run configuration so here if you go to the J unit <coughs> J unit you double click into the J unit and then select the J unit 4 okay uh, and then inside this run single test click search it will show you the options of what projects are available okay so I believe this is uh, let me see which is my test I believe this is my test um, if I go to argument it will just leave that as default you don't have to do anything everything is already defined so let's try to run this you'd have to save this So this means this is successful because if you see here I put these annotations that's what I was trying to say you earlier that you have to define this uh, if you come here uh, this is my configuration test where I said this is going to be my annotations um, so that's what you have to define in every feature file that you want to write so where you want to define that as this is you can do two levels at least if you want to do here is fine or you can do at the feature level you can have multiple sets of this test and it would run uh, twice okay or, or more but if you have multiple tests you can just and you want to run the whole thing you can put that above the feature or you want to run one single test you can just do that here okay um, so that's the purpose of that um, I'm going to just remove that and I'll just run this one test and now if I run this same test I would be able to run new regret uh, what is it? run my let me run this again run my cucumber run as run my cucumber test run So right now if you see the target does not contain anything and if you see the it is initializing the browser and obviously it will do the uh, rest of the test that we're doing uh, if you see the target does not contain anything right now once the test continues and it, you know, we can refresh we're gonna see the um, that will have some files that is part of the cucumber So 
basically it is doing the same test that we would be running from JUnit. So nothing different in order to uh, run the test in the automation wise, but uh, then the output is the key here. So uh, looks like the test completed. Uh, let's go back to our test. If you see the test passed and if you see here these are you know it gives you better information like it has all outputs it has all steps definitions it is also telling you know where the data is coming from basically it has entire thing that the test script is on top of that uh, it is giving you uh, console output uh, if you come to JUnit uh, here if you see it has extra definitions that what these steps are doing and this time it ran only one test because that's where the annotations is at. If you have this test in multiple places, it would run everywhere. Or it's not only that, if you have another feature file that contains this test, it would still run that also. So it is easier because uh, you don't have to go into search each feature file. The, it, the, the project will search, the, the Cucumber test will search for the annotations at the project label so wherever that is inside this feature files inside this folder every feature file it is going to scan for this uh, annotations and it will trigger those tests okay and um, and um, the rest of this is same so let's go to quick recap how to install you already went through that uh, you would install from the tool add the maven dependencies you create a runner class uh, where you would define a class with the empty body, run with cucumber.class, cucumber options give params, uh, glue where you define where your step definitions is. If you give empty, uh, it means it will look for anywhere in the project. Uh, locations of the feature file, these are very important. Um, that's where it would look for those feature files. Um, and then feature file inside that folder you create all the feature file with the dot feature extensions uh, its steps inside the cucumber need to be defined inside the step definitions otherwise it will show you uh, yellow uh, and then run with the config uh, if you see here it, it is only two lines you can add as many you want um, basically this is just inclusive test that's why it uh, already has all of those registration filling thing. I'm um, just uh, enhancing the existing test. Uh, just part of these two steps, I'm breaking them inside the cucumber. Otherwise, this could go longer. Um, and uh, there are other ways also you can do uh, in order to run the same test. Uh, you can add as a scenario outline instead of scenario. Uh, for example, here. If you put the scenario outline, the main thing is you have to add the examples. Okay, and example is, and then you put example here with uh, so examples, and then inside the examples you would put the table. Basically, this is the Gherkin table. You would put anything. Just say. Um, let's say test case ID or you can say username password something uh, and then you put the data here uh, 001 this could be something that is related to the data above this test you want to parameterize this test you can pass the data from here we'll go through that in other other videos uh, where we would write more advanced tests so for now just say uh, just say this is how you would be if you write examples then you have to define this as an outline then it will look for example otherwise you would just define the scenario where you define the data itself inside this okay uh, if you want to parameterize this your method has to be exact inside the step if you parameterize this you have to parameterize this line itself you have to parameterize here too we'll go through parameterizing cucumber in next videos uh, for now, um, I think this would be pretty helpful and you can now continue to write your test inside the Cucumber uh, rather than your uh, traditional JUnit or uh, TestNG. I hope this video has been very helpful for you. Uh, please continue to watch my video and subscribe my channel. Thank you very much for watching this video.